Oh, so funny enough, before I was a mom, I was an artist. Major, in fact. These are some of my paintings. If you haven't seen these in a bit, it's because they were at my parents' house after I did my solo exhibition over the summer. So that, that was pretty exciting. That was an exciting time. Uh, but no, I asked for them back because today I'm going to do a little photo shoot with all of my paintings. I do have uh, coffee. I have coffee here. <laughs> Hi, club. I do have I do have coffee bean with me and my baby girl. She's doing really good uh doing her little tummy time right now. Oh she might be at her limit. I don't know if you can see that face. She's she's very focused, very determined to um crawl around like this one. Oh and he's gone. See see Marceline, he's showing you how to roll over. Oh, and being mischievous as well. So funny enough, 2021 and 2022 are really big for my art career, I would say. I did a lot of shows. I, yeah, I showed my paintings off at many different places here in uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. The wonderful people from the Phoenix Art Museum have reached out to me and they asked me to do an interview for their emerging artist story. So basically they just have a set of questions that they ask everybody and so I'm gonna answer them and they'll make a little article based off of me and my my artwork which is really really exciting. I love the Phoenix Art Museum. I grew up going there all the time with my mom and like learning about you know artwork and stuff. It's basically one of like the original places where I got to see some fine art as opposed to you know contemporary a really really contemporary artist like here in Phoenix so I'm really excited I'm also very nervous I, I think this is something to do with I think I applied to be part of their emerging artist series I think probably two years ago honestly I was like really excited to you know be a part of this now they finally reached back I'm gonna be doing this interview one of the parts of the interview that they asked of me was to share some photos of me and what I had seen that some people had done is that they they showed photos of them in their studio you know very like posed I guess uh, photos of them in their studio and you know with their paint brushes and their easel and you know I've done photos like that before but I think the last time I did like a little like at home photo shoot of me in my studio was probably like two years ago maybe in like 2021 and I think we need an update especially now that I look a little bit different and now I got this baby so maybe she can make a little appearance in them as well I think I'm gonna make this wall my little backdrop because I already have like three of my latest paintings up here and I'm going to add paintings that I had from my solo exhibition that were over at my parents' house. And I'm gonna add them up on the wall, put a couple on the easel probably, do some makeup and hair, and just like look nice because I'm, yeah, I'm, just, I'm really excited about this, this interview. I think I've only done like one interview in the past. It was, uh, I'll, I'll show uh, I'll show it right here. Yeah, so I think this is gonna be very similar, but like a step up, you know? Like I think I did that back in like 2019. Yeah, now it's 2023 and my work has really evolved. I've, uh, I've done a lot more stuff since 2019. Like that was, oh, talk about like emerging artists like oh I just like I really just grew you know I've grown so much as an artist okay so what I was doing just now is like putting together these command hook things and I'm gonna use them to hang up these uh, paintings up on the wall because I am renting this apartment so what I like to do is get these like metal command hook things and then I get some pliers and then I bend them so that they're at like a right angle and then I uh, I put at least two parallel to each other up on the the wall and then I hang up the painting so yeah I'm thinking of the small one putting it down here like so just right here and then I'll put the really big one right here uh, behind me and then I have two extra which I might put on the easel I might have just like leaning up against the wall so it looks like they were you know, just, it's just really busy. 
She was getting a little antsy on my lap, so I put her in the swing, surely because I gotta pull out these things so I don't wanna injure her in any way. So I think I'm going to use this interview with the Phoenix Art Museum as a sort of like kicking off point to get me back into painting and doing that whole creative process because yeah, since she was born, I have not painted. I have not picked up a paintbrush. I haven't done anything and I do really miss it. It's just like my day to day is just like doing a bunch of like tiny little things, feeding, you know, feeding the cats, feeding her, feeding me, preparing food, putting her down for her naps, entertaining her, doctor's appointments, just like the whole thing. And so it feels like I'm busy all the time, but then if you were to ask me, hey, what did, what did you do this week? You know, it feels like such like small things. And that's why I really enjoy vlogging and showing you guys my process as well, because it makes me feel like I'm actually accomplishing something, even though my day to day is pretty limited, pretty very mundane, basic slice of life stuff. And so if I'm recording videos and then I, if I find time to edit them, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm actually doing something. Well, before I, I knew I wanted to like paint all the time and, and make a painting a month at least. Like that was like my goal for 2022. Remember that? Oh gosh. Wow. That, that was funny. And then I got pregnant. So, <laughs> so that's really funny. So yeah, I'm just bending all these so that they're at right angles, so that the, the paintings can hang nice and straight. I'm just gonna bend all of them. Even though I'm, I think I have like, what, six of these? Um, I might not need six. I think it's to hang up like three paintings, but just in case. Also, I'm not too sure when this video is gonna go out. I think I might wait until, uh, I don't know, I might wait until the interview is actually published so that there's like some sort of like ending for this vlog. Be like, oh yeah, like I submitted the, I like I started the interview process all the way back in March and it didn't get posted until this day because I think they might be doing it either bi-monthly or monthly like which artists that they show so I think I might be on a waiting list <laughs> you know if that makes sense I'll just show that this is yeah this is like me getting back into it because the other day I also picked up my painting from the Flynn Foundation I don't know if you saw but I did submit a painting to show at the building for the Flynn Foundation in downtown Phoenix off of Central. Really wonderful organization, very nice. We love supporting the art. And it was the last thing that I did before I gave birth. Quite literally, I went to the opening reception, I think, and I think 48 hours later, I went to labor. I, I think it was like a Thursday night or Thursday evening uh, event. And then Friday night, technically Saturday morning, I, went, I started going into labor. Sunday morning at like, freaking 2 a.m. I popped this one out. <laughs> so it was quite literally the last thing I did. I remember at that time people talking to me asking me, oh what are you do? And I'm like, um last week. <laughs> so that, that was a really funny thing. It was just really funny picking up that painting even though like that whole process was it was like closing a chapter on this sort of like hiatus, this like break that I had was like oh like I I sent that painting off right when I gave birth and here we are like five months later and I'm, I'm ready to, to get back into it and, and create. On camera, the canvases look really crooked, but I swear in the wide angle, they don't look as crooked. <laughs> I, I'm an artist, I know how to write in a straight line. I know what looks even. <laughs> Ta-da! Turns out I needed exactly those amount of hooks. So even if I wanted to hang up these two extra ones, 
I cannot because I don't have any more hooks to put them up on the wall, but it's fine. But I think it looks really good. Yeah, look how thin and tiny I am next to all this work. Woo! Of course, I gotta include my easel and my art supplies. Plus, it's a good shelf to hold uh, more paintings for the shot. thing would be to doll myself up and take some photos and probably include my baby girl too that's gonna be good i'm excited first time wearing makeup since like christmas at least like full face makeup I ended up losing a lot of footage of me doing my makeup, but basically I just did a full face of makeup, plus I included that cool little thing that I do with white eyeliner on my lids to do those like little like flurries and little details and things. I don't know, it looks really cute to me. And then for the photo shoot, Marceline and I had a matching blue dresses. These are some of my favorite shots. We had some help from dad. He was behind the camera trying to get her attention. I think he did a really good job because I really like how a lot of these turned out. And then I took plenty of solo pictures as well to get that iconic photo of me in the studio look. Plus, I knew that these would be really good photos for potential profile icons for me on my Instagram and my YouTube, so that's what I I was trying to do. Hello, so a bit of a time jump. It is now uh, June 16th and I was given the first draft of the article so it does take a time for these things to happen. I think I was thinking that the article come out a lot sooner than it ended up being so it looks like it's going to be published by the end of June so that's pretty cool. I just have a couple extra questions to answer about some information that's going to be included in the article and then yeah that's going to be translated to Spanish which is pretty fun. Love that. I love uh, <laughs> showing up in different languages. That's so cool. But yeah, when this article comes out, I think I'm going to use it as like a kicking off point to, yeah, get back into the art stuff. Because I, yeah, I haven't painted since my baby was born and now she is uh, seven months old, going to be eight months by the time this article comes out. And yeah, I haven't done anything creative. It's not that I don't want to paint. I really do. It's just like... The way that I paint, I just get sucked into it and it takes up my whole focus for a couple days. I mean, you've seen my art process here on YouTube and yeah, it just becomes like my full thing and now I have a baby to take care of like full time. So yeah, we're talking about the possibility of me moving my studio over to my parents' house so that I can just go over there, kind of like a job and just like, oh, whenever I go to my parents' house, they're going to babysit my baby and then I will just work as I would any job and I would just paint. Uh, I think that's probably the most realistic possibility of me actually getting back into painting is if somebody is able to, to watch my baby while I'm able to do it. What I don't like about that is that like then I miss the, the studio and so I think therefore this room would probably be like the baby's room we would change it it's like main purpose because right now it's like my room and you know the baby comes in here and hangs out with me when i'm doing stuff yeah i'm just i'm just gonna miss the studio so it's like i don't know i think i might take some time to grieve before i finally make a decision on what to do um, yeah, just because I, I love this room so much and I love having my studio here at my apartment Like literally my very first video here on this channel was a little tour of my studio and all of my supplies And like all the stuff that I love about painting and uh, yeah, here we are a year and a half later 
over a year and a half later and I haven't now my life is completely changed and I I am unable to work creatively in here at least for long hours I guess I could always sketch but you know like sketching and drawing is not really my thing it's it's painting painting's my love it's everything yeah well I'm gonna you know answer these couple questions for this article and submit it and then uh yeah it's gonna be uh done when the article's done and I'll <laughs> I'll show it to you guys Hello, it's uh, it's June 27th now, which means that the article just came out today. Ain't that right, Marceline? But no, that's my baby girl, Marceline, and she's almost eight months now, so it's so crazy that how long this has taken. But yeah, so the article is finally published today. I am seeing it for the first time, and I just wanted to give my reaction. Yeah, basically go over it with you guys, and maybe I'll talk a little bit about it without giving all of it away. I would, my first thought was like, oh, I'm just gonna read you the article, but then I'm like, hey, I want you to go go visit and read the article if you're so interested in learning more information. So yeah, so yeah, it's called Armida Kilty in her own words on the Phoenix Art Museum website. And yeah, so this is a a part of the Phoenix Spotlight series. I don't know if I said that. I think I said like emerging artists uh, article or something, but no, it's Phoenix Art Light, Phoenix Artists Spotlight series, which is the thing that I applied to back in 2020. So yeah, it's called Armina Kilty in her own words, and I think I'm going to go over the first uh, little bit with you so that uh, you can see how well done it is because I put a lot of work into it. So yeah, it's from the very beginning. Uh, let's go over it. From a young age, Armida Kilty has been drawn to bright colors. Now she paints rainbow-colored sunsets from the streets of Arizona's cities, capturing the sky's beauty with vibrant colors. Armida studied painting at Arizona State University, and her background in theater helped her comfortably begin a YouTube channel where she has built a community by documenting her creative process. Her bright paintings have been showcased at the Central Gallery, Chaos Theory 2022, Phoenix Art Now 4, and most recently the Flynn Foundation Art Exhibition Cycle 2. Uh, Samantha, who is the person who I talked with uh, and collaborated with on this uh, interview, she did ask uh, another extra question about the YouTube channel. Because I think because it's a little bit unique, like uh, not that many other artists uh, have like have a YouTube channel and document the process. So I, I very much understand that. Uh, we spoke with Armida Kilty to learn about the inspiration for her work, her use of color, and more. Here she is in her own words. And then the big quote, Using thick oil paint, I create a neon cloudy sky where the sun is hitting at the perfect angle in the horizon that makes the clouds light up it just puts me in awe every time i see it in real life and then they put the photo of me with marceline right here uh, the first photo in the article but i think the click photo is the the photo of uh me uh just in the studio i gave them the option i was like hey uh i you know i i took pictures of marceline because we had matching dresses so so cute um, so I, I gave him the option. I was like, okay, well, like, if you want, because I do mention uh, Marceline a little bit in their view. So I, I gave him the option if they wanted both, and they just ended up using both in the Instagram post and in the article, which is so fun. Uh, Phoenix Art, tell us about who you are and when you knew you wanted to be an artist. Armida Kilty, I was born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. I have always been inspired by the views that this city gives me. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been drawn to bright colors. I would choose to wear bright colors whenever given the chance. Looking back, I think it stemmed from being limited to what I could wear most days. I had to wear a uniform to school as early as kindergarten. So when given the chance on what to wear, I wore the brightest colors for my entire outfit. Plus my parents let me choose the color of my bedroom walls and I chose a deep magenta color. Who would do that except someone who loves color? Now thinking back, I do use that same deep magenta color in a lot of my paintings. I didn't get a chance to lose myself fully in the visual arts until I attended Arizona State University to study painting at the School of Art. Before then, I mostly expressed myself in other art mediums, including theater and music. While performative art can be powerful during the moment it's expressed, I have found that the visual arts come more naturally to me. The hours of solitude, preparing a piece with love and care, sharing it with the world when I decide it's time. This process has its own power. My years in theater helped me comfortably express myself on my YouTube channel where I document my art process while also getting personal outside of just being an artist. 
The community I am growing online is unique beyond anything I can imagine. I uploaded my first video in December of 2021 and have already uploaded over 100 videos. Along with being inspired by other creators that document their creative process, I suppose it was the feeling of connecting with others that made me upload that first video. My husband and I had friends leave Arizona that year, so I felt lonely for friendship and wanted to share myself in videos to fill that void. Now that I'm a mom, I just hope my daughter grows up to appreciate her surroundings. I hope to become a hardworking example for her by protecting, by perfecting my art while also taking care of her at a, her young age. That's the first part. And then I answer some more questions. What do I typically explore through my work? What are the media that I prefer to work in? The topics that I focus on? My greatest artistic influences? Something I'm currently working on or recently exhibited? And advice that I would give to inspiring art. Just beginning to build their professional practice. And then anything else I have on the horizon. Yeah, so just like... A whole bunch of stuff, and they included some of my favorite pieces that I've worked on recently. Um, of course, the big, beautiful ones with the most rainbow color. I love these. Love these featured. But yeah, so that's my article. I'm so, like, it literally just was uploaded right now. I haven't even, like, told my own family that it's available yet because I've been, I've been talking about this interview for a while, and so this is really exciting to finally uh, share that with, with people. Yeah, we made, like, an Instagram post, a, like, collaborated on on that which um I, never, I haven't done yet so that that was pretty cool to see just i'm i'm so excited that this is uh available now and yeah just because like of my roots with the phoenix art museum and yeah i'm just so i'm just so excited this is finally uploaded marceline is very excited as well right mama She's having a great old time while I'm talking to you guys about my interview. See, this is why I hardly ever get anything done. I did say early in this video that I am going to try to use this interview as a sort of kicking off point in my art career. Uh, not art career. Um, I think I said career a couple of times in the interview. That's why I have it in my mind still. Like getting back into art now. Ever since I've had the baby, I haven't painted. Um, so I think I'm going to work on some stuff now. Now that this article is out, I'm really going to try to do that. And um, my parents are helping me out by um, taking her to their house tomorrow. They're gonna come by in the morning and pick her up and give me like a free day, which it, it's I'm so thankful for because I've I've said it in previous videos on my channel that I have not had a day to myself a day alone just a day to relax i haven't had that yeah my my husband is really pushing for me to, to start a painting tomorrow that i'll have I'll, I'll be alone without the baby i think because my my husband my biggest supporter i think i might listen to him and actually do start something because the article came out today and then tomorrow i get my, my break day it's like it's like a sign it's like a little sign <laughs> that I should start working on something. And I have, I have ideas. I have ideas. Uh, and I have canvases uh, primed and ready to go. It's just, uh, yeah, I just ha haven't had the time. So this is pretty fun. Thank you guys so much for um, watching this process. For any art lovers uh, of this channel, um, thank you for your patience as I have not uh, painted this whole time. But I have been me. See you soon with hopefully I'll be working on something and I'll make a video about it. And you'll see that pretty soon on top of um, life with me and my um, my little baby too. Okay. Bye-bye. And then I think I'll... Ooh.